It is the channel that you come to when you jump on YouTube. Young Buck says the beef between him and 50 Cent was manufactured. What? It's your favorite local especially out of spoke. Support the real, get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How you fight back. It's simple. All you got to do, just subscribe. Then follow me on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H, one word. Setting Nash, I'm going to follow you back like your pictures and all that. What up with the visionaries? Okay. Where was the jokes at? Where he was questioning your sexuality? That part? Saying you was broke? That part? Questioning your mental health? That part? Talking about stuff between you and your family? That part? Like, that was, man, you, that was a joke? Well, you need some new friends. I I don't I don't get it. I, I truly don't. I don't get the angle for 50 cent. I get the angle for you because it absolves you of everything. I mean, when you did your Vlad TV interview and your press run and all that on um, 50 and why it didn't work and everything, you lied. Flat out. You just flat out lied. You tried to rewrite history and nobody believed it. What are you talking about, Nash? He rewrote history. 50 cent once said and even Young Buck even had to admit this, that they came in to a meeting, G-Unit offices, and 50 Cent said, let me ask you a question. Y'all all got on shoes, right? Right. What kind of shoes y'all got on? I got on these, I got on these. He probably, Young Buck probably had on those Birdman looks. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> He probably had on those Birdman lugs on. And 50 Cent basically said, y'all not doing what y'all supposed to do. We got to get rid of that. So there go the money. Then he basically said that 50 Cent should have made him a partner into the vitamin water. Y'all got to understand something. Those rentals that they get, bro, I just went over how much they cost. I'm about to throw an extravagant birthday party. I'm about to spurge thousands and thousands of dollars. I will never do that again. Young Buck is a liar. I think what happened was Young Buck got on that phone. 50, I got to eat all uh, my babies and all that in there. <laughs> and what he did more than likely was cry to 50 Cent because nothing that he's doing is really causing a stir like that. Young Buck is in his 40s still rapping. Shout out. I hope more rappers at their 40s make it and keep on rapping. But goddamn, Young Buck, you can't make this stuff up and think we're going to be cool with it. I wish you well. I hope the G-Unit union reunion works out with you, Yayo, Banks, 50, Game. I hope that all works out. Y'all can put together one last album, one last hoorah, and when COVID opens back up and everything like that, I'd actually go and see that. I would. I, I ain't even going to front. I hope y'all come out with them weird-shaped ass Tank tops all over again. You come out with that G unit spinner piece. But other than that, cuz, we ain't really looking for you. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Cuz you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. You ain't subscribed. You ain't following me on Instagram for your follower. Hella likes. If you have not listened and streamed the music of Seti Nash or haven't listened to the Nightly Nash Pack, Nightly Nash Podcast, can I ask a simple question? Why the hell not? And if you're wondering why I just messed up there and I didn't restart or nothing, because it is what it is.